You should be watching this video for your sun, moon, rising sign, or Venus sign. Um, but the moon's gonna resonate the best for you, most likely. So if you don't know your moon sign, check in the description box below, and there's a link there that'll help you figure out what that is. You can also be watching this if your partner or ex-partner is of this sign. And a good idea is that sometimes when these videos come out right away, they're gonna resonate right away and sometimes they're not. So yes, a personal reading is going to give you the most accurate information, but also sometimes these energies don't click with us because these things haven't happened yet. They're going to happen mid-November or they're gonna happen at the end of November. So keep that in mind too. You could bookmark it, come back to it, or you could just say fuck it all, I don't like this bitch. That's your prerogative. Um, but let's just get started with your video. Scorpio singles, welcome to November. So here's what we have generally for your situation in November, and I'm so excited because I'm a Scorpio moon. Yay! Okay, guess what? Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. Could you meet your forever person in November? Absolutely. And look at this, like they're actual lovebirds. It's so great. I just want to show you, for contrast, what Happily Ever After looks like in the Rider Weight deck, since I happen to have it handy right here. And you will see that with the deck that we selected here to use for this reading, that this is actually far more favorable. It means you get a lot of cuddles, like actual like passion and comfort, like found in the body of your soulmate of your person that you meet here in November. Okay, see, I want you to see this by contrast. Look, the traditional Rider Waite deck. Okay, this is great. You're happily ever after, whatever that looks like, you know, with your kids and your home and, you know, you got your arm around your partner. And by the way, tarot isn't gender specific. So, you know, this could be a gay couple. These could be lesbians. It could be um, a man and a woman, whatever. Um, but, you know, it's like, Yay, our life is great. But this, this is like, our life is great. We've got our little love nest. And um, this bird has a party hat. So we have fun together and we snuggle and we're affectionate. So anyone who has physical touch is your love language. It's like, yes. Um, okay, so in addition to that, we've got the magician card. And you know, he's got the little infinity sign on top of his head, which is like possibilities are totally limitless. It like the amount of joy and happiness you could find here are limitless. The monkey is a little bit unpredictable and wild. So, you know, as a Scorpio, we love the extreme highs. We don't so much love the extreme lows, but they do make us feel very alive. And so that's what we have here. The one thing I would caution you about though, is that you guys, um, when you come together, could take some of all of this to extreme. Um, you might have a little too much fun, getting crunk together kind of thing, but overall very, very happy. Um, but here's, here's the warning. They're saying like love is going to come to you you know, this month, but with the Four of Cups, you might not be ready to receive it. You know, you might not be paying attention. You see how her eyes are closed? Here are four offers of love. One of those four is possibly happily ever after person, your soulmate, you know? But look at you. You're like, eh, I don't know. I don't know that I want this. I don't know that it's the right time in my life. So if you're trying to manifest it, keep your eyes open, pay attention to signs that are coming through so that you can take advantage of this. 
but overall pretty good news. And it doesn't mean that if you miss it in the month of November that it's never going to come back again. It's just like pay particularly um, close attention in November to signs. Like if you have a weird feeling for some reason, like this minute is the minute I should go to this place. Follow that gut instinct, okay? Because that's spirit talking to you. That's called clear cognizance. Okay, so anyway, what do you want in November? <laughs> okay, this is hilarious because some Scorpios here have finally gotten to this place of like, I kind of want to be single. I kind of like this. I kind of like the fact that nobody else is fucking up my vibe. Um, you know, like, it, I'm not unsuccessful just because I'm not in a relationship. Like, I'm doing good on my own. Like, I'm building up my finances. Like, I'm getting my shit in order. Like, you know, I'm not hurt anymore by the fact that I don't have this other person in my life. And so now you've come to this and you might not be ready to let it go, which is maybe why you'll be sitting here like not being really receptive to offers of love coming in. Now that might also be like, okay, well, I'm not online dating right now because like, eh, I just don't want to put in the energy. Okay, but if you're not doing that, for example, I mean, that might not be your thing in the first place. And if it isn't, whatever. But if it is, if you took a break from it, now you might have a hard time meeting that person. And it's not to say that everybody's going to meet their person that way. Um, I mean, in today's day and age, that's how a lot of people meet. So I'm just using it as an example. I guess like a personal reading, we could tell you like more clearly where that's going to come from. But um, just a perfect example. Like if you've taken a break from that, you might want to go back to it, even though you're not in the mood to date. Make sense? Okay. So, so that's what we want is maybe we're putting a vibe out there that even though in the longer term, we'd love that happily ever after. Maybe right now we're kind of like enjoying our alone time. Uh, so try to make sure that you're manifesting the right thing. Now, what do you actually need? And they're like, okay, so you actually need to kind of put an effort out there to meet this person because you have stepped away from things that you really cared about or you really loved or had attachment to that maybe you shouldn't have held on to for so long. And now that you've done that healing, you've got to kind of be open. They're like, now is the time to take action because the right person with good communication skills is actually super honest because that's really important for a Scorpio. They can't tolerate bullshit. They can see right through the lies. That person is going to present. Okay. Now, how can you best go about getting it? Be really honest and direct with yourself and thinking about that. Um, try to communicate with other people. Don't be that person like sitting back like, mm, I don't see you. I don't hear you. Start conversations. Make eye contact. They're like, it's not going to fail for you this month. Um, you're not going to end up lonely. That's great. <laughs> um, okay. So what do you need to release in the month of November? They're like, okay, <laughs> you might have been going real deep within, coming to peace with a lot of shit, cutting cords of attachment, letting things from the past go. Um, you've been taken off blindfolds. You've been seeing things exactly as they are. And now you've got to kind of embrace these new changes, like that final release of everything so that the new awesome stuff comes right through the door for you. What is your overall lesson in the month of November? I'm going to switch decks. What is your overall lesson? Acceptance. I am ready to release control of situations and people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. Hells yeah. And the universe is like, I'm hooking you up because you did this shit. You did it, or you're doing it, so they're bringing you a gift. Bravo. Very, very excited about this. Um, okay, couples. What's the general situation for Scorpios in a couple, in a coupleship? Because somehow that seems quicker than saying coupled relationship. Um, but it wasn't shorter, considering I had to explain it. <laughs> They're like, you don't feel tied down to a negative situation. Either your relationship is positive or you know that you need GTFO. Um, you might be feeling kind of deeply this month, and that's okay. 
really kind of focused in on your relationship, but not necessarily from a place that's like divinely inspired. It's more ego, okay? And that's not a bad thing. It really isn't. But they're just saying it's not like the universe is like pouring down all this insight on you. It's just deep feeling because that's what you do naturally. That's who you are, Scorpio. Um, what do you need to keep doing in regards to your relationship? And um, this is a little bit harder because what it's saying is you need to keep like your awareness. You know, remember how I talked about how you can't lie to a Scorpio. They're like on it. They can feel it. They might not have proof, but they know. Keep being that, okay? And then understand that no matter what kind of circumstance you're in, even though it feels like you might be stuck, you're never actually stuck. There's always a way. You might not be able to see the way yet, but it's always there. And so they're like, this is really, there might be a little bit of hurt based on lies or untruths, deception, that kind of a thing. Um, and it might not be coming from your partner. It could have been things that you told yourself in the past. And now you're kind of like realizing like that was a fucked up way to think. But here you are. Okay. And that's painful and it's hard, but you're not stuck in that mindset. So, um, keep doing that. Keep being really, really honest and demanding the truth of yourself and of your partner. Now, what do you need to stop doing in the month of November? <laughs> um, okay. This is so strange because they're basically putting it out here as like, now there's two camps of Scorpios in relationships. In the one camp, you need to stop like threatening to run away from your relationship because you know it sucks and, and you're nagging and you're bitching and, and you're complaining because like you need to just stop doing that or like threatening to do it unless you're gonna actually do it. Like your excuse is like, oh it hurts to do that, so I'm not doing it. Like, but I'm just going to, like, make that threat and hurt my partner. So, like, if you're doing that, stop. Like, make your fucking mind up, basically. Excuse my language. Um, now, the others of you, <laughs> it's, um, like, okay, well, I am making all of these wishes for, like, what happiness looks like in our relationship. And they're like, that's not a bad thing. You know, keep doing that. However, also stop and enjoy the moment. Like, really feel in the moment all of these things that are great. Which they're like, they're not saying that you're not doing that. But they're like, continually hoping for more and more and more and better and better and better isn't a bad thing. But it is a bad thing when it takes away the focus from, the, from like truly enjoying the moments that are positive now in your relationship. Okay, so in general, what is the lesson for you this month? And then they're talking about, I'm getting this is like, um, not only within the context of your relationship, but like outside of your relationship, like meeting couple friends and like making friends outside of it, because you might be a little bit too focused on your partner this month. And so like meeting other people, not necessarily like in a romantic context, but um, like they could be like mutual friends would be really good. So friendliness in general, recognizing traits in common with other people, and then forming love based connections with them based on shared experiences, interests, traits, that kind of a thing. So like couple dates, does that make sense? Like other people who are into the same kind of things that you are. Okay, so um, for those of you who are in between, who are in on-again, off-again relationships, or maybe your relationship isn't like Facebook official, what do I have? They're like, be patient, be patient. Because the reason why your relationship is this way right now is because there's a lot of confusion and that's causing pain and heartbreak. Like you're frustrated that you don't know exactly what you want. You don't know if this person is exactly what you want or maybe they don't know that you're exactly what they want or where you want this relationship to go, that kind of a thing. The only thing you're really aware of is that you want something stable, right? So maybe it's uncomfortable to be in this situation. Um, but aside from that, what else is important? Because that's going to help you make the decision of how to handle it. So that's November, love and light, and see you in December.